Hello, this is Janet Michael. In addition to hosting The Valley today each weekday at noon on the River 95.3, I also produce podcasts, and I'm excited to introduce you to a new podcast series in partnership with Lord Fairfax Community College. Having provided higher education and career training for the past half century, LFCC is tightly interwoven into the fabric of the Northern Shenandoah Valley and Piedmont regions. Join me every week for conversations with current and former students to hear their funny and inspiring stories as we learn about their journey to higher education, the role that LFCC has played, where they are now, and where they plan to go. We'll also talk to current and former professors about their experiences and best memories of LFCC over the past 50 years. Get every single episode as they're released on our website at theriver953.com under the podcast tab, or you can subscribe for free in Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, on Spotify, Amazon Music, wherever you listen to podcasts. Just search for LFCC Stories. Hello and welcome to the Valley Today. I am your host, Janet Michael. Happy Thursday as you are listening to the show today. We, of course, have pre-recorded our conversation on the Zoom screen, and I am very excited to talk to my guest today. Tim Farmer is joining me. He is the Public Relations Coordinator for the State Arboretum of Virginia at Blandy Experimental Farm. How about that, Tim? 100%. You did that well. It only took me five years. (laughs) (laughs) You're starting to get the hang of it. I'm excited that you're here today because we're going to talk about the Garden Fair and it is happening this year. It is. We We are so excited to be able to have Garden Fair again, let people get outside uh, and, uh, but of course the important thing here is to remember first off, We'll be hosting this at the Clark County Fairgrounds. This won't be at Blandy. It's been at Blandy for 30 years. And this is the first time ever we've held it off site. And of course, the reason we're doing this is to comply with UVA regulations uh, regarding COVID-19, which tend to be more cautious even than the the state as a whole sometimes. So the university is is being cautious. Uh, We follow their guidance. And so we will be at the Clark County Fairgrounds in Berryville. And you know what? We're going to have signs out here at Blandy because there may be a few people that don't get the word and (laughs) come to Blandy like they've done every year for Mother's Day for the last umpteen years. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of people that just mark their calendars for Mother's Day. Oh, that's Garden Fair. And in looking at all the details, I mean, literally moving it to the Clark County Fairgrounds is practically the only thing that has changed. You're still doing the preview night. You're still going to have the vendors. It's still a two-day event. It's still Mother's Day weekend. That's Everything right. else is pretty much the same. You're, you're absolutely right. You know, we'll, we'll be spread out more than, than we might usually be under the circumstances. Fortunately, of course, the fairgrounds provides lots of, uh, lots of space. And we've enjoyed with, uh, working with the Clark County Rotans, you know, to uh, to make this happen since it is the, the Rotan Fairgrounds, and uh, and so they've been real helpful and and you know they see the value of Garden Fair, to, they see the value of Blandy and the Arboretum to the community. They're great. They're they're great to work with, and you know while I'm while I'm at it plugging the people that I should, why don't I just mention uh, our main sponsor, Make Nest interiors. Uh, Paul Miller over there is great to work with and uh, and he's been real helpful providing guidance and uh, uh, we appreciate Paul and his uh, his support from Make Nest Interiors. They're located downtown on the walking mall in Old Town Winchester, aren't they? That's exactly right. They yeah. have the most beautiful windows. I yes. love I love going yeah. inside, but if I can't don't have time to go inside, I love walking by and looking at their windows. He does a phenomenal job. Yes, absolutely. Their slogan is joyful, honest, fearless design. And, you know, they ask, uh, does your space inspire you? Sometimes, uh, fortunately, this is radio, so you don't see my work uh, space here, uh, which is 
been a little busy lately getting ready for garden fair. So, well, it was funny when uh, we logged on, I immediately knew you were at your office. The last couple of times we've done the show together, you've been home and there's been a dog in the background. So I knew immediately <laughs> this was not necessarily your comfortable home workspace. Well, and but, you know, Blandy is certainly a, a comfortable workspace. It's uh, it's kind of been a second home for me. I've, uh, I've been doing this for a little while now. And, uh, you know, I'm I'm really pleased to be able to be back at Blandy. You know, you're right. I worked from home for almost a year. And, you know, that's great for lots of, of reasons. Um, but gosh, it's nice to be back at Blandy, especially in the spring. You know, our, our red bud, bud tra trees are looking great right now. The red buds are fantastic. They're beautiful. Uh, the dogwoods are maybe a little past their peak, most of them, but there are still some you know, different varieties blooming. Azaleas, we have a, a very nice azalea collection. Our irises will soon be popping out in our iris garden. Lots of woodland and native plants to see. So I want to get back to the garden fair in a second, but you bring up a, a good point in that Blandy is still open. Just because you're moving this particular event to the Clark County Fairgrounds to follow the UVA guidelines, Blandy is still open. I can still come out this afternoon or this evening and take a walk around the grounds. I can Absolutely. do all of the things that I would normally do anyway, right? With what precautions do I need to take? We are open dawn to dusk every day of the year now. And, and we're pleased. Uh, we do encourage uh, social distancing with anybody that's not in your immediate family. You may hear more relaxed guidance coming from the state, but again, we follow U University of Virginia guidelines, uh, which are sometimes more cautious. So we encourage mask wearing around other people. If you're within six feet, we're right now our offices are, are closed, but Building uh, with the restrooms is open, so we do have restrooms available. We discourage folks from coming up around the building and gathering in, in groups. So. Well, let's be real. I mean, if I'm coming to Blandy, I'm not necessarily coming to pop my head into an office. I'm coming to walk the grounds and exactly. relax a, a little. This is a place best enjoyed outdoors. It's a wonderful place to walk your dog on a leash. If you have a horse, we have a wonderful bridal trail with a fenced paddock area. So lots of ways to enjoy Blandy is big enough that you're right. If you can't find a little social distance at Blandy, you're going to have to look a little harder. <laughs> Let's go back to Garden Fair for a second. Give me all of the actual specifics, the dates, the times, the admission fees, all of that sort of thing. Garden Fair is always Mother's Day weekend. This year, that's May 8th and 9th, Saturday and Sunday, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Clark County Fairgrounds. It's $15 per car. So bring the kids, bring the neighbors, bring the neighbor's kids. This goes directly into the foundation of the State Arboretum. That's our uh, fundraising and volunteer organization. Volunteers are largely responsible for putting on garden fair. And, uh, and we couldn't do it without our volunteers. You if know, I get my better. ticket now, though, save I save $5. And let me tell you how I know that. Because before we got on the Zoom screen, I got my ticket for, for $10. So I am already good to go. And how many years we've been doing the show together now? What, five years? May, middle of May will be my fifth year. I have been saying every year I was going to do it. And every year something else comes up where I forget about it. But this morning, I became a member Great. of the Friends of the State Arboretum. So I got great. my advance ticket and I am a member. <laughs> well, great. We hope to see you at Preview Night. Uh, you know, members uh, of the foundation enjoy Preview Night on, on Friday night, May 7th. And you're right, it's not too late to become a member. Uh, members at Garden Fair get first pick of the plants. And so, you know, there's, there are benefits. There are discounts to other programs and events. So we'd love it if you became a member. We're so happy you did. And, uh, and like I say, we hope to see you at preview night. So um, where do I go to get my advance ticket if I want to pay online? Do I do that on the Blandy website? Where's the best place for me to get that advance ticket? You want to go to the Blandy website, and that's blandy.virginia, spell it out, .edu, blandy.virginia.edu. And, uh, and once on that site, you'll see a, a, a link 
uh, with upcoming events. You know, under upcoming events, you'll find our garden fair page, all the information you need, directions, the address uh, in Berryville for the fairgrounds. But since we're on the sub subject, the address to the Clark County Fairgrounds is 890 West Main Street in Berryville. That's 22611-890 West Main Street. Well, let's take a break. When we come back, can we talk a little bit about some of the vendors that are going to be there? I know that you're going to have um, some really cool things because there's always really cool things at Garden Fair. So can we highlight some of the vendors and talk a little bit about that in the next segment? Absolutely. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to continue our conversation. We are pre-recording with Tim Farmer. He is the public relations coordinator for the State Arboretum of Virginia at Blandy Experimental Farm. We're talking about Garden Fair. It is happening Mother's Day weekend, May 8th and 9th at Clark County Fairgrounds this year. This year and this year alone, we're going to talk more about that when we come back with Tim in just a couple of minutes. Got a financial decision to make or a goal to reach, but you don't know where to start? you come to the right place. Introducing Quick Money Chats with the Northern Shenandoah Valley Financial Education Program. Visit tinyurl.com backslash quickmoneychat to schedule a virtual chat with a staff member or trained volunteer. We won't tell you what to do, but we will give you the tools you need to choose wisely. And because Virginia Cooperative Extension is part of Virginia Tech and Virginia State, your land grant universities, you can be sure that our information is credible and trustworthy and you'll know that we aren't trying to sell you something. Maybe you want to improve your credit score or reduce your banking overdraft fees, or even figure out if you can afford to buy that car. Sorting through tons of information on the internet can be overwhelming, and sometimes it can be hard to know who to trust. Schedule a quick money chat and get the information you need to take action. Go to tinyurl.com backslash quick money chat and get financial education personalized for you. Welcome back to the Valley today. I am your host, Janet Michael. Happy Thursday. As you are listening to the show today, we of course have pre recorded our conversation with Tim Farmer. He is the public relations coordinator for the State Arboretum of Virginia at Blandy Experimental Farm. We are talking about Garden Fair. It is back. We didn't get to enjoy it last year, stupid pandemic, but. We are doing it this year, Tim, but in a new location. So tell me again, where is Garden Fair happening this year? Garden Fair this year was happening at the Clark County Fairgrounds in Berryville, Virginia, uh, 890 West Main Street in Berryville. It's 15 bucks a car, $10 in advance if you pay through our website, landy.virginia.edu. You pay online, you can save five bucks and spend that money on plants. And it always happens Mother's Day weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And plants aren't the only thing that people are going to find when they come to Garden Fair. That's absolutely right. In fact, I was just running through our Garden Fair list, our vendor list, which is on the website. The entire vendor list is on there with the booth numbers. Uh, so you can really take a look, see what's on there. But uh, I just browsed down to see Mountain Falls Millwork. Uh, I believe they're a first time. A vendor at Garden Fair selling wooden coasters, cutting boards, trays. Yes, things besides plants and trees. We'll have uh, age in place improvements. We'll have sunsetter awnings uh, display there that you can work with them and you know order a perfect sunshade. And but of course we have lots of our returning vendors. Uh, Virginia Vistas greenhouses will be here with annuals, begonias, peonies. My peonies are starting to pop. So uh, I'm not allowed to have peonies because they draw ants and my husband's an exterminator. And there's a whole story behind that. <laughs> well, and, you know, funny you should mention because peonies need ants to pollinate. Yes. So, you know, your, your husband's right. They, uh, they attract ants, but they're interested in the peonies. Now the neighbor has them. So I get to enjoy them from afar. <laughs> there you go. And there you go. Well, that'll work. You, know, you have to, you have to work out these little minor differences now and then. And so, you have a lot of groups that will come and set up like the beekeepers and the master gardeners and places like that, that you can get questions answered about a wide range of topics too, don't you? 
the uh, Virginia Native Plant Society, uh, Northern Shenandoah Valley Master Gardeners, and perhaps one of the most important ones, we'll have a booth dedicated just to information on the spotted lanternfly. And this is a really invasive bug that's been found in Warren County, in Frederick County, and now sadly it's in Clark County, uh, including here at the Arboretum. We found uh, just a, a few of them, but we are taking action now to try to deal with them. And for that reason, we will be inspecting uh, plants uh, before they leave the fairgrounds. Anybody, especially that's leaving a quarantine area, which includes Clark and Warren and Frederick, um, will need to inspect uh, plants. Just you know, go through them quickly. And mostly, what we want to re remind people to, to look for them themselves, especially in their own home environments. Um, the other thing to pay attention to, Mark and I have Mark from the uh, Extension Office, and I have done so many shows on the spotted lanternfly. I actually, he actually took me a few years ago when they first made their appearance. He took me to one of the hot spots, and we did a video of what it what they looked like, and they were swarming, and the smell it was disgusting. The yeah. smell and everything else. But he says um, he always says that they are really, really good hitchhikers. So it's great that you're having people check the plants, and that you guys are checking the plants. So people should check their cars, make sure there's not something in the grill of their car that there's not something in the in between where the windshield meets the windshield wipers just give it a quick once over especially if they live somewhere that isn't in a quarantine you don't want to take it back and then suddenly start one that's exactly right we want to try to slow the spread of this invasive pest as much as possible so was it harder or easier this year to find vendors? Did you find that a lot of vendors were just itching to get out and be able to show up and showcase their products? You know, well, we had a few of those and, uh, and you know, we had many vendors. Like I say, many of our vendors are returning. Uh, we weren't able to hold Garden Fair last year because of the pandemic. So they're glad to be back this year. Um, and we had others that said, you know what, I'm going to wait a little bit yet. I haven't had my shot or whatever. And so they're going to uh, wait and hope to come back next year. Um, but I think there will be a lot of good response. Now, I mean, even with all that, we have 45 booths. Um, some of those are nonprofits. Some of them are our own membership tent and that sort of thing. But there will be more than 40 vendors uh, at Garden Fair with everything from uh, small trees, annuals, perennials, um, and, uh, you know, fruiting shrubs, i.e. blueberry bushes. So if you love blueberries, great time to get your blueberry bushes and get those in the ground. We will also have food vendors. And uh, now not only will we have some of our, our favorites, uh, Sarah Festivals, uh, she always brings gyros, Philly steaks, you know, that sort of thing. We have uh, Asian fusion elite joining us. Uh, they provide uh, teriyaki chicken, shrimp on a stick, that sort of thing. But the Clark County Ruritan Club, because they are helping us work out garden fair, they're also going to join us with breakfast and burgers and more. You know, we're, we're really pleased. Um, we will be taking advantage of some of the covered areas that are outdoors uh, for garden fair. Um, the, uh, the buildings, we're not, we're not going inside. This is a rain or shine event. Uh, so bring an umbrella if you need it, but don't let that stop you. Are you still going to have the wagons at the fairgrounds? Should I bring, am I ever allowed to bring my own wagon, even if it's at Blandy? <laughs> not only are you allowed to bring your own wagon, we will have more than a hundred wagons, but those, they're, they're uh, a waiting line, a, a line forms early on and because uh, people want those. So you're welcome to bring your own. We encourage people to bring their own wagons uh, if they'd like to. And, uh, and that way, you know, somebody else can, that doesn't have a wagon at all can use one of ours for no charge. We'll have a donation box up there. So we'd love a donation but wagons are available. And I will tell you as someone who has been a regular at the garden fair, don't go thinking, Oh, I'm not, I have, you have, maybe you have a wagon 
and you think I'm not going to need a wagon. You're going to need a wagon because you think you don't when you get there. And then all of a sudden you start going around. Oh, I need this. and oh, I didn't even know that I could get these and I need four of them or I need six of them. And it's a little complicated carrying some of uh, these big things, trees, things like that without that wagon. We'll have a lot of great vendors that are mighty hard to resist. So come on out, support our vendors, support the Arboretum. Uh, proceeds from garden care support, educational programs for people of all ages here at Planning, and the programs and events uh, rely on this sort of thing. And we will be at the Clark County Fairgrounds, 890 West Main Street in Berryville. So we won't be at Blandy like we are most years. And we talked in the first segment about the mask wearing and some of the safety precautions that are happening. If you go to Blandy, you're still having some of those precautions in place at Garden Fair, even though it's at Clark County Fairgrounds too, right? That's right. We want to take appropriate safety uh, guidelines and into account. And so we're taking measures uh, such as asking everybody, vendors and visitors, to wear a mask. You know, if you're in a group of people like outside at Garden Fair, you know, in a group setting like that, I think it's smart to wear a mask. I'll be wearing one and I know our vendors will be wearing them. And, and of course, you're not necessarily wearing that mask for yourself. You're wearing it for everybody else. They're wearing theirs for you. With that said, we, uh, we do have lots of room to spread out. You know, we'll have hand sanitizer available, for example, at uh, the information booth, that sort of thing. So we are taking, uh, taking precautions, mostly spreading out. So give me all of the details one more time, the dates, the times, the location, how much, and, and uh, where can I get advanced tickets? Sure. Garden Fair is always Mother's Day weekend. Don't forget your mom. It's May 8th and 9th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And uh, it's 15 bucks a car, but if you want to save five bucks, go to blandy.virginia.edu. And you can pay for garden fair parking in advance. It's only $10 per car. So bring the kids, bring the neighbor's kids. You know, we'll have unique plants, trees, shrubs, and gardening experts from the Native Plant Society, the master gardeners, uh, you know, lots of folks will be on hand to make this a great weekend. And if you, as an individual, want to pop 45 bucks and become a member of the Friends of the State Arboretum, then I can get a weekend long pass and access on Friday night. So I can buy up all the good stuff before it's open to the general public on Saturday morning. Well, if you can buy up all the good stuff, you're, uh, you've got a, a lot of work ahead of you. <laughs> but, uh, but I can tell you, uh, that yes, members of the foundation of the State Arboretum get an invitation to come to preview night and get first pick of the plants. They get first pick plants and then you bring your program back that gets you into Garden Fair all weekend long. So and give me the website one more time. Blandy.virginia.edu. Virginia is spelled out. So it's Blandy.virginia spelled out dot edu. And do you guys have a Facebook page and Instagram? You have some social media outlets, don't you? Uh, we do, certainly. You can look us up on Facebook, Blandy Experimental Farm. Uh, same with Instagram, Blandy Experimental Farm. Well, I will be there. I just don't know whether I'm going to come and camp out Friday night and just stay through the weekend or, it, you know, it just kind of all depends. Well, but... unfortunately, we don't allow overnight camping. So, you know, what? We, we can't let you camp out there, but we certainly <laughs> welcome you all week. Okay. Well, thank you, though, for coming and giving me all the details for it today. I appreciate it. I'm so glad, and thank you so much for helping us spread the word. It, it's been great, Jen. I will be back tomorrow. I am continuing my Clark County slant for the show this week. Uh, tomorrow, we are having a conversation with uh, Clark County Farmers Market. They are opening this weekend. Their opening day is Saturday morning, so we are going to talk about all of the different vendors and things Clark County Farmers Market is going to have when they open on Saturday right here on the show tomorrow, a few minutes after noon. So meet me back here then. <laughs>